welcome folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go 10 hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. It's a TGIF folks, let's make it a great one. Live in faith that the whole world is on your side as long as you are true to the best that is in you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 11, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's down 2, gold contract up $12, trading at 1,134 an ounce. Silver up 13 cents at $14.57 an ounce. Platinum up 18 at 1,018 an ounce. Copper up a penny at 233 a pound. Light sweet crude got action underneath it. Up 279, wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of the above at one at 45.34 a barrel. Bonds, you had the 10 year down four ticks, 127.26. 30 year down 10 at 156.18. Now, in both cases, folks, who are switching from the September to the December contract, but they didn't hold price and they had light of volume. So that's saying that, uh, bottom line, the lows of yesterday are going to get tested again. King dollar, King dollar up 463 ticks, trading at 96.11. The euro down 58 at 111. And the yen up a half a penny at 121.44. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. It was called, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Bottom line, folks, I got my man, Mr. Dave White, our technology expert at TFN, right beside me here. We're gonna go through this market first, then we're gonna go through some tech. So, what we have out here today is this. You closed at 199.24, the high of yesterday is 199.42. We did volume of 140 million, you did 274. You got over the high, closed underneath it, bottom line. That's saying that is a failure at a high. You go into the NDX 100, what do we have? It's gonna be the exact same type of setup. Uh, NDX 100 almost made it actually. NDX just had to get to 71. Uh, it got to 106, closed at 105.66. Uh, that had 47 million versus 69. The IWM did make it. The small caps made it. Small caps, uh, yeah, the small caps, 115.59, that got over it. That's saying, hey, guess what? That small cap can get up into the 116.66. That would be, that'd be another move like today. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold, they couldn't hammer it on a Friday, which is a cool thing. Bottom line is that we're gonna need more volume. You need more price spread. Um, not bad out here today, 11.40 to, uh, uh, 1123, you had volume of uh, 140,000 contracts. You're inside the larger trading range, so that's 1169, but what you are gonna wanna see is that wide price spread accelerated volume. Silver's hanging on by a thread. Uh, silver just made it back inside uh, the range. Uh, the, the range we're talking about is 1434, uh, you're at 1455. Now this is where it gets dicey for me, and this is where it's going on. So if we take a look at the bonds, what you'll have is this. The 10 year on the September contract, we did 1.1 million. And we got to a price point of 1128, but we didn't hold price. You're going into 2.8. It's like, okay, man, that means the lows of yesterday are gonna get tested. Uh, ah, is it an ABC structure on the way down, okay? So I'm gonna go from here, that's 1.1, because the today is the actual, this is, this is, there's only a couple days, folks, that you get the same amount of volume in the roll, meaning that you don't have to roll, okay? The roll's next week, but you can see, now I'm going over to the December contract, and you almost have the same amount. We have 911,000 contracts in the December. We had, what, 1.1 in the September. Same setup, though. So it's like, man, Monday's gonna be a trip. So it's, you know. I'm looking at that dollar index, and I wished that I got a clear signal today. I got yet another ambiguous signal at 96.30 on the dollar contract. It went up there, it touched it today, Yeah, but it didn't pull off and blow down lower. It didn't blow higher, and I'm figuring that probably Monday we're gonna get a good signal on that one. Well, and so the, what you had with the dollar is this. The dollar is up 458 ticks. You're at 96.11. It had failed yesterday, and it failed pretty good yesterday, okay? Yesterday we, we had done 55,000, well, that wasn't bad, 55,000 versus 61. What you have today is that it just went into the downdraft from the 12th. Um, that is 68,000 versus 45. So, yeah, I mean, next week is going to be a number. There's, there's no doubt about it, man.
No doubt now, about it. We talked a couple weeks about uh, ago about filling that gap on the TLT. Yeah. So I mean, it kind of got up the to T there. The TLT is the 20 plus. Okay. Oh, so this is the gap you're talking about over yeah, here somewhere. Yeah, right. yeah, right. So that was kind of what we were talking about, that it not only was it that gap, but the gap over on the far, well, on no, the no, far. Th no, that's right. Yeah, it, go ahead. It, okay. There was like two or three gaps at that level, right? right? And right. we did get, hit them, but over on the far left-hand side, just to, what, 10 ticks in or whatever, yeah. um, that gap has been out there and, you know, Right there. Yeah. Right. It's just like the bottom okay. of that gap is 130.19, and we had hit uh, 128.92. Yeah. Now watch this. Let's put this on a monthly. It's always sweet, folks, when you're going on the end of the month, because it's like, okay, what have you done? Um, and you know, thus far, the bottom line is that uh, the TLT really needed more juice coming into this. Well, it's not bad actually, but it certainly hasn't held price. You can, you can make the argument this could be an ABC down. down yeah, yeah. yeah, you can make that argument. So that's, that's what I said. I, mean, I think Monday we're going to get a lot of answers on what the dollar does, on what gold does. A lot of stuff right now, I think, kind of gave us kind of about half an answer today. And I think you get the rest of it Monday, hopefully. You know, there's divergence, man. I don't like what the bonds did today. Not for how I'm positioned right now, you know. So it's going to be interesting watching that whole thing shake out. Uh, if we go overseas and we take a look at the DAX, you know, the DAX has been a pretty good indicator, like, uh, what, what's going on. And, you know, the DAX didn't get any juice either. You know, you, you, it, it died in the vine up here. You know, we're down with uh, 294 million. You got a little bounce up here. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing there. But, hey, you know, it's the volatility's here. I found it very interesting that they just came out with uh, numbers for consumer confidence in Germany. Oh, and yeah? it's sky high. It's like, the, I mean, it wasn't like they asked it two weeks ago before all this blew up. Okay. I mean, they were literally asking up until like Wednesday of this week and they came out. Yeah. And uh, the people are impervious to anything over there. Well, they <laughs> think that it at least pull back a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess it depends when they took the survey too, Well, right? that's what I was saying. It was up okay. till Wednesday, so which is Wednesday. pretty much the worst part of the week. So, a lot yeah, of people just, and the DAX is down from, uh, yeah, the DAX is down 2,000 points. Yeah. yeah, and you would think, I'm thinking that maybe people would think maybe things aren't going as well as they were, but apparently everybody over there thinks nothing but blue sky. <laughs> well, they think the same thing here. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, that's, that's the reality. Dave White, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're going to come right back. Dow Industrials finished down 11. Everything else, folks, coming into these futures closing at uh, 415. They got them in the positive uh, bracket. You got the S&Ps up uh, one half a point. The NQs are up five points. Uh, the We're going to be right back.